Bismillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Welcome to our product presentation. We are from Get People, Finding Your Lost People. Uh, so this is our go-to-market and sustainability proposal. Uh, this is our capstone team consisting of six people, two from Android, two from cloud computing, and two from machine learning. So Get People is an app where uh, people can find their lost family who are affected by natural disaster by uploading their photos and our machine learning algorithm will find the best match for them. So uh, based on survey that we had made, uh, around 79.7% .7 of our potential customers are, are thriving uh, for this new solution. And as we all know, uh, Indonesia is located on the Pacific Ring of Fire and is plagued by natural disasters, thus making uh, making it the second country with the most natural disaster by 2021. And we see as the years progress, uh, the total disaster are increasing. We see on the news that a lot of people are, uh, they lost their families and uh, it's hard for them to reunite with their families. And based on an article, we saw that uh, the social workers are finding it hard to reunite kids who are lost uh, kids who are found in the Sulawesi earthquake. Uh, and thus, uh, it's hard for them to reunite them back with their family. And we are also trying to contribute to the SDG uh, 13.1, which is on strengthened resilience and adaptive capacity to climate-related hazards and natural disaster in all countries, where one of the indicators is the number of deaths, missing persons, and directly affected persons attributed to disasters per 100 thousand population so this is the screen thoughts of the get people application this one is the splash screen and the other two is the welcome page to log in and to choose role and this one is the interface for sign up and log in this one is the map of disaster location the next page is where user can upload a victim pictures and they can search the victim and then they got the results and they can have the detail by clicking one of the data and this page where officer can upload some data about the victims by uploading pictures and some identity data so there are two personas they're going to use our app the first one is a user who wants to find their families who are affected by the natural disaster uh, there's yanto hernovo here and then there's ahmad hendrawan uh, who is uh, who is uh, the representative of the uh, SAR team who wants to uh, use this, uh, who needs tools to be able to reunite uh, found people with their family. Why do our target market need our solution? Because we provide easier way to help people find their families that got spared due to natural disaster. We made a breakthrough that made it easier for the volunteer team to quickly match the victim's data at the scene with the victim data that came in from the family so that the victim was quickly identified and returned to his beloved family. Okay, so the next is comparison to similar apps. So our application get people sent a similar purpose at Shari Tembo, an application owned by Basnas that is designed to find and report missing people. The difference with our app is Shari Tembo only provides search by name, so it's limited only to people that can provide their identities, while get people has wider range because we use face matching algorithm to help those who can provide their identities, such as infants, elders, and people who lost their memories. Next is implementation. The, the implementation we use is face matching algorithm using Science Network. The reason we chose it instead of classifying input is because Science Network is able to measure the similarity of photos with our database. So how does it work? So first, it uses a pair of photo is the input from each photo. We then use extra feature extraction using CNN. The result will be a feature vectors. Then we subtract those vectors to get a new vector. After that, the new vector will be processed by using dense layers to get a scalar. And finally, the Zekmoid intervention will be used on that scale to get a number between 0 and 1. 
uh, when the number is closer to one, it indicates the picture is similar. And when the number is closer to zero, it indicates the picture is not similar. So this is our roadmap of our team. So the first is we do idea generation and brainstorming, and then we do user research, and then we build MVP. And now we're here, we're looking for funding to be the top 15 teams to receive funding from Bankit. Next, we launch, we do launching and evaluation, and we wish to scale up to add more features and go international. Uh, next, this is our project milestones of, for 2022. 20, 20, uh, in July, we analyzed about information system design with related institution like BNPB or etc. and felt surface. From here, we can see and plan how uh, our application will develop. Uh, and next, uh, in August, uh, we have planned to improve the skills of our team members so we can develop our application more uh, properly. Uh, and next month is October. Our application development will be start. We start with, by creating an uh, admin dashboard in web uh, and add more feature to mobile app. Uh, and last month, uh, we are ready to test our app, receive feedback uh, from user, and finally we'll we'll launch our app to public. Okay, next is our possible pilot or trial. We choose our location in virtual, which we will doing our project via online. For the timeline in July, as our timeline, we will do analysis of information system design with related institution such as BNPB or etc and field surface. For budgeting, we allocated patent rights amount $200 based on intellectual property right website in Indonesia to link $50 based on Google Collab subscription fee, transportation $50, data collection $20 used for commission fee to BNPB or other real estate organization if needed, infrastructure $200 used to run our client services such as app engine and cloud storage, team salary amount of $250 and total for first month is $770. Next timeline for August until December is same with project milestones in the slides before. And the funding explanation is similar with the first month, but we plan to upscaling funding amount of 1,800 based on Coursera subscription fee. And in the November, we allocated data collection expenses amount of $180 for reward for rewards to random selected user which has positive contribute to our apps. And for the roles in the first month, we need system analysis which we can run from outside or maybe we can done with our team. Then in the August until December, we back to our main role, but in September until October, some of us will do a web developer role. Next. Next, our budgeting plan, if we got first option, which is $50,000. This is basically almost same with budgeting before, but we clustering based on category of expenses. Maybe you can post the videos and pay attention in the presenting screen to get detail of information. Okay, next. Next is our second option budgeting plan. If we got $10,000. We plan to hire new employee which can help us to do research on app development so that we can so that we allocate $1,000 on it. Next is additional budget for learning or capacity building because we think the most valuable investment is in our team skills so that our team can develop better apps in the future. And then the third is additional salary of external experts, which we'll use for the rent a specialist freelancer to help us in specific parts that we're not understanding. And the last is contingency reserve for other things in the outside of our plan. Next. Sustainability. On our research, get people can survive from several grants and CSR. There are some operational funds that we cut so get that people can survive, like operational, infrastructure, transportation, cost optimization. Then for funding, we have a plans for the future, like uh, 5K funding and 10K funding. We hope that get people will have advanced human resource in the field to assess through technological development in the field of facial recognition, with the data at the common post in the field so as get to reduce operational costs with only personal gadget. Thank you. That's it from us. Thank you for your attention.